Hi friends, Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library, and Razzy and I are here today to talk about some really great books that we think you might enjoy. So again, we are still continuing to celebrate Banned Books Week, which is at the end of this month, so next week. And so all month we're talking about different books that have been banned, why they've been banned, and why I think you might actually really enjoy reading them. And banned books, if you remember, are books that have been pulled out of libraries or schools because someone doesn't approve of them. People who love books, like teachers, librarians, booksellers, and readers like you, we all celebrate Banned Books Week because it celebrates the love of reading, the love of books, and the freedom that we have to read whatever we may want. So, the first banned book that I'd like to talk to you about today is The Witches by Roald Dahl. The Witches. This is for readers eight and up, and you might actually be interested to know that this book is also a movie. It has been turned into a movie, and not only that, it's also been turned into a graphic novel as well. So if you love graphic novels, you might want to check that out. Now, this book was banned, as you can probably guess from the cover, it was banned for being too scary. And the reason why is because it's a book about, well, witches. It's about a young boy who lives with his grandmother, and his grandmother loves telling stories about witches. But little does the boy know that these stories are actually true, and he actually runs into the Grand High Witch herself and has to escape her and outsmart her, basically. This book is awesome. It's really exciting. It's fun. It is a little bit spooky, um, but it's, it's just a, such a fun, amazing book. And that's The Witches. Book two is also by that same author, Roald Dahl, and that is James and the Giant Peach. This has also been made into a movie. So if you read it and you end up liking it, it might be something you want to check out, the movie. I can think of at least two more books by this author that have been banned. He must like really writing controversial stuff, huh? So this is for readers eight and up as well. And it was banned because it was thought that it teaches children disobedience. I don't know about all that, but it is a very good book. And it's about a young boy named James who lives with super abusive ants. They're so mean to him. They work him to the bone. And one day he is given these magic crystals and they are told will change his life. And he accidentally drops them at the foot of this peach tree. The next day when he wakes up, he finds that this peach has grown and grown and grown. It's the size of a house, even bigger than that. It's amazing. And a couple of the insects that were on the peach have actually gotten bigger too. And he becomes friends with them. A grasshopper, a ladybug, a spider. And they go on this grand adventure that is just so wonderful and heartwarming. This book is absolutely fantastic. If you haven't read it, I absolutely recommend it. James and the Giant Peach. And this last book is for ages seven and up. And it's Where the Sidewalk Ends. This book is actually one of the most challenged books ever. It is constantly, every year, being challenged or banned in schools and libraries across the country. And the reason for that is because it's considered rebellious and considered to promote kids to disrespect authority. But really, this book is just filled with fun and silly poems. You don't have to read them all at once when you get this book. You can just read a couple at a time. They're super fun. I just, I love this book. In fact, I'd like to read you just a couple short little poems that are in here so you can get an idea of how awesome they really are. This first one is called Rain. I opened my eyes and looked up at the rain, and it dripped in my head and flowed into my brain. And all that I hear as I lie in my bed 
is the slishity slosh of the rain in my head. I step very softly. I walk very slow. I can't do a handstand. I might overflow. So pardon the wild, crazy thing I just said. I'm just not the same since there's rain in my head. Isn't that fun? Fun and silly. And this one is actually my favorite poem in the whole book. And I like it because it's not silly. It's a little bit silly. But mostly I think it's just inspirational. And it makes me feel like I can do anything I put my mind to. Ready? It's called Listen to the Mustn'ts. Listen to the mustn'ts, child. Listen to the don'ts. Listen to the shouldn'ts, the impossibles, the won'ts. Listen to the never haves, then listen close to me. Anything can happen, child. Anything can be. Wow, isn't that just so powerful? You love it too, right, Razzy? It's amazing. So I highly recommend this book. It's amazing. Even if you just check it out and just flip through it and maybe you'll find a couple poems that you love. They're just super fun and it's a great, great book. Well, that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed them. If they seem interesting to you and you want to check them out, they're all available at the Farmington Community Library. We are open for curbside pickup and also grab and go service. So you can actually come on inside the building and, and get these books if you want. Thanks so much for watching, my friends, and have a wonderful rest of the day.